what is it that, that, that you're... I don't use the word obsessed, that's the wrong word. Trying you know to say. I mean? I'm trying to say you love him, you must love him so much because for years and years you've played him on stage. Now you've, as I say, written, directed, starred in a movie about him. It's a lot of work about one person. So what is it that you find so intriguing, if that's the word? Well, playing him on stage actually was just part of trying to get this film together. So it was uh. all part and parcel of the same thing, in a way. Uh, I did him, uh, I did uh, the play The Judas Kiss on stage because I was finding it hard to find any money for the movie and I thought maybe if I showed that I could play the character on stage I would, uh, you know, find a way in. Yes. And in a, in a way that happened. I, I did the play um, The Hampstead Theatre Club and it was very quite successful and uh, then I got the BBC to come into the movie and Lionsgate, the distributors that, that I have now. Yeah. And so that was really the start off of, um, of th the turnaround in the 10 year period that it took to make the film uh, that kind of got things moving. But to be quite honest, when I started it off, I just had no idea it would be this uh, long, drawn out, <laughs> difficult process. Okay. I, uh, I, 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 if someone had said to me, in 12 years time you'll only just have finished making this movie I would not have gone on in other words it wasn't that much okay of a passion project it was uh, it was an idea at first it became as the years went on okay. uh, a question of life and death even worse than the passion project it became I felt if I didn't make the movie I would die or I wouldn't I don't know who I'd be at the end of it all right uh, so it, it it was a much nastier thing in the end. <laughs> okay. And being in the director's chair, did you enjoy that side of it? Was it easy to boss around Oscar winners like Colin Firth? Very easy. Think? Is it? Yeah, but I didn't need to boss them around because all those actors, uh, Colin Firth, are so good. Uh, they don't really need uh, any direction. I could okay. just sit back and uh, concentrate on my part, really. Okay. And for this, does, do the costumes help at all? Because you, you do disappear into this character every time I see you uh, as him. So do the costumes help you get into that? And what's this I hear about? It? Did you wear a fat suit? You didn't put on the weight? Definitely the costumes uh, help. I mean, there's some actors who, whose approach is to go from the inside out and yes. there's some actors who approach from the outside in. I'm definitely outside in. Okay. Uh, getting the costume and the look and the shape of the man uh, was definitely uh, the most important part for me. And uh, the fat suit that I got that you mentioned was made by this genius called Robert Alsop. And he designed it like, uh, and it had all these different parts that moved in different ways. Right. And- um, So it was comfy? It was comfy, unless it was very hot. Okay. Um, and on top of that, I wore a corset to kind of tie it all in. And, um, that really gave me the opening into the character, I think. Okay. Do you think this will open a lot of people's eyes? Because obviously this is a little bit different in that it's about his later years, his exile. Um, so do you think people, some people might not know that much about his later years? Because it hasn't been overly done, if you know what I mean. I think some people don't know anything about Wilde beyond the fact that he is wild. And um, he said some of those uh, funny phrases. So I think... <laughs> yes, there will be a lot of people who don't uh, know. I think there are people who don't even know he, that he went for, to prison. Yeah. So um, I think uh, it'll be an eye opener f for those. Okay. People. I saw. I saw that you said. I mean, a lot of people know you from my best friend's wedding, of course. Um, and I saw online that you said that you were almost, some at one point, almost more famous for being gay than for being an actor. So I wondered, was that a bit of a? Because that was such a huge film, obviously. So so many people knew you. Was that nearly a double-edged sword? In the like, was it that it was had good points but bad points too, being that so famous from one particular movie. In a way, not so much the movie, but I think for for playing a gay character and being gay, it was a phenomenon at the time. So it became that phenomenon became bigger than I was really yes. uh, as an actor. So it's a double edged sword because it gave me a lot of opportunity at the same time. Mm. But then uh, also it rather boxed me in. Yeah. But did you think Wild has is possibly the most other way you could go? Do you think he's maybe rebranded you in a way? Do you know what I mean? Because you've done it for so long as well. And what was part of the reason doing that maybe to get away from the other character? No, not to get away from the other character. Uh, I, I, the only reason I wanted to do it was because, really, at first I wasn't getting very many roles. I, don't, I, don't, I, I wasn't getting any, any decent parts, so I thought I'd write one myself. Okay. And I thought the type of part I should write was something that I could perhaps find financing for or, you know, um, interest in. So that's what, that okay. was my, one of my reasons for choosing Oscar. Now, you, f you find out, as it's, it's a fact, obviously, in 2017, um, a lot of people were pardoned for being convicted of homosexuality, like Wilde. Do you think it's too little too late? Do you think it was a great thing? What's your opinion on the pardoning of 75,000 people? I think year? it's impertinent. 
because uh, the, the pardoning infers that there was a crime, and we've decided that it's not a crime to be gay, so they need to come up with some different language, I think. Okay. It's insulting. Mm, I think I'd agree with you on that. Um, what's next for you then uh, for, uh, after this? You've done the directing, the writing, and the starring in this. Will you be <laughs> just starring in the next one, if you could say just? Um, I don't know. I'm just, uh, just wanting to you know, keep going, and I've got tons of ideas I'd like to do, uh, and uh, I'd also like to just keep working as an actor. Okay, fair enough. Well, listen, it's great to talk to you. Um, congratulations on the film The Happy Prince. And thanks for coming to Dublin to talk to us. Thank you very much. Appreciate indeed. it, Rupert. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. FM 104. Dublin's hit music station.